So you want to make this cool looking audio visualizer that looks like this one I'm talking, like this one I'm farting, and like this one I'm laughing at your funny comments, but you don't have any stone blunderstone in general, or the attention span for a long format tutorial, so let's get started. You're gonna open up Blunder Snipe the default cube, replace it with the plane and subdivide according to how many pins you want on your board. We now have to add in a cylinder with a low vertex count, parent this to the plane, and for the instances, choose verts with display and render disabled. Now select your cylinder and scale everything down until there's no overlapping, then stretch everything vertically to determine the length of your pins. And so far we've set up a system where the deformation of our plane determines the motion of our pins, so I now need to show you how to get this deformation in the first place. And we're gonna do this by selecting our plane heading over to the modifiers tab and adding a displace modifier with a new texture, and in the texture tab you're gonna choose something like pipes with a large scale to get something much smoother. But the problem is that we want this animated because it's not about the size of the boat, it's all about the motion of the ocean, and just to prove it I asked a couple wonder tutorial masters about their preference. Definitely the size of the boat. I prefer the size of a boat. Yep, yeah, we're all in agreement here, it's definitely the motion of the ocean, and to animate our deformation, just go back to the modifiers tab, set coordinates to object, add in an empty for our controller, which we're also gonna need to specify, which is gonna let us control our deformation by moving this around. So on the first frame we can choose some location and add a keyframe, go to the last frame and choose a different location for our second keyframe, and boom, we've just animated our basic pin board. Now to get this to react to our music, just open up the graph editor, add in a keyframe for our displacement strength, which is gonna make another curve appear, and then go to the key menu, choose bake sounds tough curves, and navigate over to the song you want to use. This will make our deformation dependent on the music volume, but if you listen very closely, you can almost hear the sound of nothing, and that's because Blender isn't actually playing our music out loud, and to fix this, just add in a speaker object, go to the object data tab, and for the sound, pick the same music from before. Now finally, to add in our color, we're gonna have to go to the shading workspace with rendered mode enabled, the cylinder selected, and a new material sign. Next, we're gonna add in a color ramp node along with a geometry node and a separate XYZ node to isolate the Z component, which we're gonna use as our factor, plug into the base color, the BSDF, and finally play around with the gradients until we get the result you want. And there you go, you've now made an audio visualizer to show your friends and family, and if you want the normally paced tutorial, that's gonna be available over at my Patreon for a dollar, the project file for five dollars, and you're also free to donate to help support my tutorials. But other than that, I've been CG Matter, you've been you, bye bye.